A cold autumn day outside an otherwise nondescript apartment building in lower Manhattan. But inside lies a different world. The world of Bedford Avenue, Brooklyn, and a team called the Bums. It was a special time for everybody. It was a happy time. Yes, yes, Jackie hit that ball. This is a room that any old Brooklyn Dodger fan would die for. It's filled with memories, some of which cost a lot of money. Several baseball memorabilia collectors have loaned their goods to professional photographer David M. Spindell. Most of the pieces belong to Spindell, part of a new poster called Remember When. I was, you know, born and raised in Brooklyn, so there was always that little touch of sticking with the Dodgers, even though they left the city. And putting together the Dodger post, I said to myself, this is kind of a special time in our lives. It wasn't just the Dodgers, it was the whole civilization at that period. It would take days to decipher each little item in the arrangement, but they're all part of a puzzle. No matter how small, they're still important to the artist. I love objects and little things. I think all the things from the past have a certain character to them. My wife was always saying the only difference between men and boys is the price of their toys. The world in a photographer's studio can be quite small, but not so the effect of his work, especially in this case, when you're dealing with the memories of baseball in Brooklyn and the beloved bums. I kind of imagine someone all of a sudden looking at it and finding things that they keep looking at, and all of a sudden, it will bring back a very special memory to them. To me, in putting it together, my father always said I would be the world's greatest photographer. So in the back of my mind, I said, Dad, I'm decorating the world, and I'm going to make everybody happy. Ebbets Field and the bums of Brooklyn are from an era long gone. But as this room and the work that's going on here clearly indicate, it's an era not easily forgotten. In Manhattan, Bud Mishkin for the News at 10. And now